वेलकम स्टूडंट्स रयत शिक्षण संस्था सतारा रयत ऑनलाइन स्कूल एजुकेशन रोज प्रोजेक्ट आई एम मिसेस विजयमाला पाटिल फ्रॉम सदगुरु गाड़गे महाराज कॉलेज कराड़ माय सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी सेक्शन वन प्रोज यूनिट नंबर वन पॉइंट पॉइंट फाइव मिसेस एडिस रिटर्न बाय शेला काय स्मिथ इन ऑर्डर टू सी इन डिटेल दिस टॉपिक आई हैव डिवाइडेड इट दिस इनटू टू पार्ट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी इट्स फर्स्ट पार्ट लेट वी स्टार्ट विद आइस ब्रेकर्स फर्स्ट शेयर यूर ओपिनियंस और फीलिंग्स विथ यूर पार्टनर अबाउट अ स्ट्रेंजर who has a villainous look or appearance i feel one should not judge a book by its cover appearances can be deceptive suspicious or threaten next the feelings of person when he commits a mistake are he tries to justify it he tries to blame others for the mistake he feels guilty for committing the mistake next activity the person who makes mistake or commits crime should be punished because it will bring him to justice it will make him realize his mistake it will help him transform himself into a better person it will ensure that the victims of the crime receive justice now we are going to see about the writer shaila kai smith shaila kai smith was an english writer and known for her many novels set in borderlands of sussex and kent in english regional traditional her 1923 book the end of the house of allard became the best seller and gave her prominence it was followed by other successes and her books enjoyed worldwide sales about the title Mrs Edis is a story about a peasant woman who finds a desperate young man at her doorstep pleading of her to give him protection from the police he had been poaching on the nearby estate and in panic had killed one of the gamekeepers let we see the theme of the lesson the best punishment is forgiveness forgiveness provides opportunity to change the behavior forgiveness is the beginning of the healing of the wounds inflicted by someone now let we see the characters in the story first mrs edis Mrs Edis is a small peasant woman. She is about 42. She has brown hard face and dried skin. She has helping nature. She is loving mother and very confident. She is unfriendly towards Peter Crouch. Nevertheless, she helps him in crisis. Next character is Tom. Tom is a son of Mrs. Edis. He is a gamekeeper. He is a good-natured boy and working in Iron Latch Farm. He is Peter's good friend. They had been friends when they went together to the national school at Lamberhurst. 
Next character is Peter Crouch. Peter Crouch is a poacher and a fugitive. He has lack of confidence. He was a big and heavy man. He is anxious, desperate and curious. One of the keepers has been killed by him and he eats Tom. He was trapping rabbits near Cinderwood. He was also sacked for stealing car. Some other characters in the lesson. The keepers, the guards, Widler, one of the keepers of Scotney Castle. Mrs. Gain is a neighbor of Mrs. Eddis. Now let me focus on setting and locations. Some places are mentioned in the topic. First, Sussex. Sussex is a historic country in south of England. Next, Kent. A country in southeast England. Hammerwoods, a forest described as hammer because in the past iron used to be made using timber and water. Delmendon is a name of village. When Peter Crouch was heading towards Mrs. Eddy's cottage, he heard the sound of a barking dog at Delmendon. Cinder Woods, name of Woods. Kansiran is name of a town. Mrs. Edis advised Peter to go to Kansiran by using train. Scotney Castle is a name of castle. Tishurst. A village in the Rother district of East Sussex, England. Now let me see some major events in the lesson. What you Peter Crouch? She said. I didn't hear you knock. Mrs. Eddy said to Peter Crouch. Here in this incident, Peter Crouch has killed one of the keepers. He was poaching down by Cinderwood and keepers found him. To save himself from keepers, he used his gun and killed one of the keepers. And thus, he ran to Mrs. Eddy's cottage and begged for safety. You are a good woman, Mrs. Eddy's, Peter said to Mrs. Eddy's. Mrs. Eddis was having good as well as helping nature. Without hesitation, she helped Peter. She knew Peter as a friend of her son. As he was not a good friend of Tom, since Peter and Tom were learning in the same school. But Peter could not be successful. As Tom was successful person because Tom was Mrs. Eddy's son. She was such a good mother of Tom. And yet life was sweet for there was a woman at Tishurst, a woman as faithful to him as Tom. When Peter heard about Tom's death, he was shocked deeply. He thought that he has now no right to live more. He no longer wanted to escape from the thing that he had done. But there was a woman as faithful to him as Tom, who would go with him to the world's end. And she belonged to Tishurst. Now in this way, we have seen the first part of Mrs. Eddis. We will see the next part of Mrs. Eddis in the next lecture. Thank you.